The Templar shall stand guard as you and your stalkers infiltrate the temple. May Tassadar's shadow hide you, my friend. Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, and how, here we start Evil Awoken. Uh, we got a... Um, do not lose any units before destroying the Void Catalyst and normal... Just do this on normal difficulty. Just trust me. It's not... It's not good to do. And uh, kill 20 units with Shadow Strike. Easy shit. And that's it. Go. suspect an intrusion my templar are engaged with the enemy you will have to continue on alone for now i will do my best to monitor your movements warriors we must press on the fate of our galaxy depends on it all right <clears throat> i don't know how much i'm going to be doing this bullshit with um we deliver these unbelievers unto the void I don't know how much we're gonna be trying to save everybody, but whatever. Force fields. We will have to blink through. I mean technically you just send him through. He can't attack air though. Hey, like fuck this guy up. In the service of Ire. I am the I guess we're gonna have to send these guys in. That photon cannon will reveal my presence. But if I enshroud us in void armor, we will be protected from its assault. Do I have a little void armor ability? Can we just fucking kill this thing? No, we lost unit. We fucking failed. That's okay. Just do it on an easier difficulty. It's fine. I'm lazy. You address me. I'm incredibly lazy. In the service All right, so there's some cannons here. We, we get like temporary shields on top of our already shields. Some good shit. Must not hesitate. My allegiance. An immortal. A single shadow strike should eliminate it. We are one. Now, now I have no reason to lose anything because we constantly have more shields on everything. Good fucking shit. have constructed anti-air cannons on the temple ramparts. Destroy them, Zeratul, and I can send you reinforcements. So, his little Shadow Strike ability, it's like a 500 fucking damage, so it's crazy. Oh, also the Protoss have rail guns. they're fucking great. Dude, I want one of them for my home. And then maybe one for, like, you know, the car. You never know when you may need a fucking giant Protoss railgun, you know? Well done. I am sending you reinforcements now. Young Templar. Alright, what do we get here? We get more stalkers. To be honest, you don't need to you don't need to need you don't need to be that good at like blink micro. You just like just cast V every time. My shadow strike shall be your undoing abomination. Just kill that thing. Oh, that guy's dead. There you go, we lost two stalkers in that. Time to restart, because we didn't get the achievement. I sense an observer overhead. It will reveal my presence. We should navigate around. Okay, I should mention right now, um, do not act it, like, aggro those things, because that's like, it is actually pretty fucking difficult the way that it expects you to do this. So, uh, don't, don't, don't make this any harder than you have to make it. 
All right, so here's what we're going to do. So there's this guy. It's going to continuously warp in reinforcements. Zeratul can't attack it from the air. Looks like we've aggroed stuff. Now we're going to lose everything. Oh. Shit, everything came over. All right, that's a loss. Okay, so that's the way you don't do it. Fuck. All right, you know what? Just say about this part. Fuck it. It's this part sucks ass. It's just like look at this like like limit here you have for this, because this guy will like if you send in Zeratul and then like nobody else, you know, then they're go it's gonna just infinitely spawn its bullshit. But like I'll show you. See, like hey, look, you can stay here forever, but it's just gonna keep making shit. See what I mean? Where's their tool? Right. So that's how I did. I kind of had him do it and then, like, yeah, fucking whatever. It's fine. Honor commands. Right, let's just take out this guy. Actually, he just doesn't care. Unfortunately, it looks like I aggroed these guys. Hopefully they, hopefully, they just disappear. No, I would not be that lucky, would I? Uh, yeah, so that was the bad way of doing it. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the little void. Uh, maybe what I'm going to do first is I'm going to... Because this guy does a lot of damage to my stalkers, so... I got this guy. Fucking Okay, I'm pressing E on him. Oh my god. Alright, that went horrible. So yeah, you can see how you lose like all your units. Because these things do a shit ton of damage. But that's fine. We, we took care of it. With one mistake, it's fine. Pretty sure that's like the easiest thing in the world and I still fucked it up. Actually, just take out this pile and fuck that thing. Alright, we're good. Glory to the first I'm just kind of playing around the cooldowns. There we go. We've got him. I believe another of the Taldarine's cannons lies ahead. Yeah, we kind of need these stalkers to be alive right now because of these scouts. But I gave him the shield, so oh, okay. Well, the shield is done. Don't worry, we have we have amazing micro here. Actually, to be honest, scouts don't do a lot of damage. That's why you need a couple of them at Destroyed least here. Another cannon, I see. Well done. Reinforcements are inbound. Amazing micro. Alright, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you're shit at micro, it might just be a good idea. You might just try making these guys into an Archon right away. The only reason I'm not is there is actually a good place for them up ahead. Uh, but I'm gonna be honest with you. It is super fucking trying at times this stuff. So, I mean, you might just want to make these into an Archon. I don't know. Try it, try it with that first. And if you have trouble, just make them into an Archon. Fuck him. This alcove overlooks the central chamber. That must be where Malash is hidden. Truthbringer, the Terrans have failed and led these intruders here. The great work is in jeopardy. Abandon your fear, Malash. Redemption is at hand. Your universe will be freed of its suffering. Ready your people for war and await my command. It will be done. Follow Amon to war. We are too late. There is still hope, Zeratul. That device, the Taldarim are using it to communicate with Amon. Yes, a 
And if we destroy it, we can delay Amon's forces long enough to warn Artanis. I will see it done. The Dark Prelate is nearby. Find him! Hey, you guys, uh, f like, uh... I will erase you guys like feedback, right? Uh, where's feedback? There we go. Oh, they're turning it to Nikon. Alright, well, we can just kill that. I <laughs> one hit. I will erase. I was good. I was about to feedback them, it's just I have to press tab. By the way, I have my Templars on number two, mostly so I can move them back. Um, kind of the way I do my micro. Oh, shit. Descend upon you. Okay, we're good. That was a bit... I kind of didn't expect that, but that, that's fine. We dealt with it fine. In the service of Ayer, I like. I had like control space for Zeratul, two for the Templar, and that's it. Anyways, let's have a look at what's down here. The demons of the past. Our lives for the master. Okay, we're gonna give the shield up. Okay, we killed them all. So I put the shield up so we can deal with that. How much uh, energy we have? We, we have a little bit of energy left. Let's see what's coming up though. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Jump in, kill that thing. Now oh, they just all turn into this shit. There we go. Uh, this guy doesn't have any energy and stuff like that, whatever. So they're talking to fucking deal with it. This should be the last of the Taldarine's cannons in the service of Iron. All right, so let's kind of think this one through a little bit. So we have a pylon right there, so we could probably just butt rush it with Shadow Strike, and that's it. Just put on our little shield thing, so we don't take as much damage. There we go, nothing to deal with here. I probably could just turn these guys right now into an Archon. Uh, do we need anything? Do we need them anymore? Yeah, we don't. Fuck it. Particle cannons have been destroyed, and I am sending you the last of our available forces. Fight with honor, brothers. Because we get two more. I'm kind of aware. I was aware of that. Okay, let's put him in the back. Alright, let's see. Uh, nothing really to use my abilities on here. Zertel's taking a little bit of damage, but whatever. Zertel likes it, I'm sure. Glory to the firstborn. A great power flows through here. It is as if the temple is linked directly to the void itself. You are finally cornered, Nerezim. Calderim, the true god demands their death. Do not fail him. Sorry, I was putting on Zeratul shield, and then with these guys, I was doing the feedback to get rid of them. All right, I just want to mention to you guys: um, after you kill this one last guy here, this um, this war prism, you win at least this initial part here because you do not like Zeratul can handle everything else essentially. So you can; it's totally a legitimate strategy just to kind of rush it. Like, this is actually fun. I don't even think you really keep anything here. Face the harbinger of the dark god's wrath. I mean, it, sure, this goes faster, but I'm like, you know, how many detectors are there? I mean, this guy's a detector, but like, here, I'm just going to show you. I can You can kite them with zero tool. You just go like this, like here. Hey, how are you doing, hybrid? Bam, go. And you can do you can do this until that the, the, you can play around the cooldowns, basically. And like I'm just gonna like as I said, it's it's an interesting thing to just show you how you can do this. And like since you have energy for um, 
So you don't have energy. You have uh, shields to recharge and things like that. Like, these guys don't even get, like, any more uh, capacity to, like... Uh, can you fucking kill that? Yeah, thank you. It's just, like, not even an issue kind of thing, so we don't even have to worry about it. Hey, let's just kite him into that. There we go. Fucking deal with that. Alright. We're done. Might as well take out the Void Catalyst. Something's happening. I'm detecting a powerful fluctuation of void energies. Saratul, the keystone shall usher you unto the... Tassadar. Can it be? Talus, I have been granted a vision from beyond. The answer to our salvation. Your salvation shall come by my hand alone. Let your suffering come to its end. By the way, no matter what, you always start with four stalkers, so it doesn't matter. Um, that's why I said, like, you can lose all your units. My warriors and I have made our way inside. We just let this thing. Back the Make your way to us now. I am on my way. By the way, I know these big scary things look like Archons, but they're really not. They only have, like, one life and, and 100, uh, 100 HP, so... They're actually not that bad. We actually have a shit ton of time, by the way, don't worry about it. By the way, you are going to destroy everything along the way that you see. For now. For now. Eventually we'll get to the point where we can just run away from everything, but... Alright, it's just, uh... I have to give it a second here. This archway has collapsed. I must find another exit quickly. So just keep using the shields and all that kind of other bullshit. Good fucking times. Cease your pointless crusade to prolong the suffering of existence. Give in. Let me free you. That was really hard to micro because the screen shook. I will fulfill my call. And you know what, pretty much from this moment, you can actually start running away from everything, so... Wait for your blink to be up, come on up here. Oh, hey, hybrids, what are you doing? Get the fuck over here. We're waiting for a blink to come up full down. There, by the way, I think Zeratul's and the stalkers are blink. Blinks are synced. And that's it, we keep going. I mean, we can kill this guy just for fun. But, I mean, these things do no damage. I like this one stalker gets to live. No time, Make your escape. I will deal with the Taldarim. There must be another way. Go. Now. And tell our hierarch what has occurred this day. Alright, this is gonna be Smith the stalker. He, he lived. But truly enough shaky cam. Oh, I guess it is. Alright, we, we completely fail to not lose any units, but that's on normal difficulty. Just do it on normal difficulty, just trust me on that. Just don't don't even fucking don't even deal with that. Anyways, let's continue. At last, the prophecy has been fully realized. And through a great sacrifice, we have been given hope. 
A vision from the Selnaka that may aid us in averting eternal desolation. Now, I must return to my people. They will not understand my actions, but I will face their judgment. Make them understand, for only Artanis, young hierarch of the Protoss, can unite our scattered factions as one before Amon's wrath engulfs the galaxy. Alright, that's the end of the prologue, guys. I mean, it's it's okay. It's just the prologue. It's not actually the main Wings of, uh, sorry, the main uh, Legacy of the Void campaign, but it's kind of whatever. But yeah, now, now we gotta start on this guy, so. Uh, remember, we're doing a Brutal, so. Uh, stay tuned for that very soon. Uh, so thanks for watching and take care.